yes because it, it's uh, like a it's needed for stamina for exam like you want to sit on the exam with fully focused mind right because otherwise if, uh, half after the half the exam your mind will like completely shut off that's why for the stamina uh, it is important okay i actually I like this approach very much more than for the marks and the improvement what you put first is you have to first sit through the place Yes. Only when I can stand uh, properly for the three hours or three and a half hours of the exam, only then I have a, even a chance of uh, winning the exam, right? Hello, all doctors and aspiring doctors. A very good evening. So there's a moment of pride for us. We have Dr. Vijay with us, who has cleared the June FMG 2023, and he has scored uh, 178 uh, marks. And uh, that's an amazing feat, Dr. Vijay. So here we are with us, and a few words of wisdom from Dr. Vijay and. Uh, So Vijay where did you do your MBBS from and how was the journey of MBBS in an abroad country uh, I done my MBBS from uh, Philippines I was in batch 2018 to 2023 okay. and uh, it was quite nice uh, due to covid it's there was a little bit uh, disturb, disturbance but still it was fine okay so when when was the pass out you passed out in 2023 is it uh it's uh, in the feb 23 Okay, so it's been like three, four months once since you have passed out. Yes, uh, yes. So that's an amazing feat. So you cleared the FMG exam, which is supposed to be one of the difficult one. And I feel that June twenty twenty three paper, quite a few students said that it was more scenario based question, not like a regular FMG paper. Is that true? What is your opinion on take on that? Yes, uh, the the pattern was different uh, than the last three years pattern. like we usually see the pattern in the exam every year like. but uh, this exam was like little bit di- different what do you feel it was different like what sense you feel it is different uh it was more like a, a how how well you know the details in the you, you how well you know the theory uh, so dr vijay you completed the internship by feb 23 and cleared the exam in june 23 so when did you start your preparation did you read from uh, second year third year or you started after your internship when and how was your entire structure for this exam preparation no the last year i prepared for like a uh, 3 months and this year from the physics while i prepared for like uh, almost 4 months okay so that's great so uh, in total i can say you prepared for this exam for 7 months yes total of 7 months yes. okay so this something which i want to tell to every student listening to this conversation a uh, 7 month consistent preparation uh, vijay could clear the exam so because uh, i always feel and even you go to social media there are students who say that uh, this is one of the difficult exam to crack you cannot crack the exam it's very difficult and especially this fmg after the june came the review was like the first half the part 1 was difficult and part 2 was doable uh, what's your opinion or what's your take on how did you exactly prepare you said you prepared for 3 months and 4 months is there any schedule is there any uh, thing which you followed regularly so that you, it it will help the future students so my strategy strategy was to complete the major major like a surgery ob pathology gynae medicine those subject first and then uh, the other subjects like uh, radio derma and all subjects later so i in the like the first four months i only prepare for those major subjects so those subjects uh, Uh, the weightage of those subject is like uh, more than 170 so i focused more on those subjects and then later on the other subjects uh, like a uh, weightage of around 10 marks or more or less so i think one thing which you have to take from uh, dr vijay is that uh, the especially i would i am seeing you as a representative of a younger generation that smart work is more important than hard work right yes, because sir. like i said that he has bundled like four five subjects which has like more than 150 marks weightage in the exam and you finished that first and then the rest of it uh, did you leave any subject did you like uh, which you didn't even touch uh, i will not advise to leave anything but uh, yeah there is a uh, like two or three subjects okay so uh, you said you left two or three subjects how was the questions in those subjects were you able to attend the questions uh it was a uh, derma and uh, radio because the derma is covered in the under the micrology hmm. and the uh, radio is fine because uh, like in all subject we have in the pw we have images so i leave those subjects because the it was overlapping that's why yeah, that's great that's great uh, but i i 
really honestly appreciate that when you said the first answer was uh, I would advise not to leave any subjects. Right? I think students should take that advice and not what he did. Right? And yeah. uh, <laughs> Doctor Vijay, how was like uh, you said seven months you prepared? How many uh, in a uh, in a day? If I want to ask you an average day of your preparation, how many hours did you read? How many hours did you do MCQs? How was the split? Uh, I will say like uh, uh, in the daily basis, like uh, eight to nine hours uh, of study and the uh, one to two hours of the questions. Because uh, when I when like my brain gets saturated, I don't uh, push myself. I just uh, go to the MCQ. Okay, that's great. So uh, how many MCQs you must have solved? Because, uh, there is a general misconception that I have to solve many, many MCQs. Keep on solving MCQs. That's what is going to get to a good rank. Did you solve uh, the the society's way of uh, solving like 10,000, 20,000 MCQs or more than that? Or you solve a little bit less? How was your approach? No, no. Like, uh, uh, like daily 150 to 200 questions with a good explanation of wrong answers also. Uh, that's uh, enough like some students are like uh, really going for 40,000, 50,000 that is not needed uh, daily 10 hours consistency with uh, like 150-200 questions with, with their uh, explanation is fine uh, that's great so that's great to hear and I feel your juniors also will follow your footsteps in solving limited things And but it's a quality work what you've done rather than going for the quantity if I may say fine <laughs> Uh, did you give any grant test? Because PW had given you quite a few grant tests for the practice. If you have given grant tests, what is the frequency of giving grant tests? Uh, uh, frequency in the, I will say probably in the last month, uh, four, four GTs. You gave four GTs? Yes, because it, it's uh, like, a, it's needed for stamina for exam. Like you want to sit on the exam with fully focused mind, right? Because otherwise, uh, half after the half the exam, your mind will like completely shut off. That's why for the stamina, uh, GT is important. Okay, I actually I like this approach very much. More than for the marks and the improvement, what you put first is you have to first sit through the place. Yes. Only when you can stand uh, properly for the three hours or three and a half hours of the exam, only then I have a, even a chance of uh, winning the exam, right? So how was your GTs? Uh, did you do well in your GTs? Were there moments that you didn't do well? How was it? Yes, uh, like uh, in the starting, it was like uh, uh, less than 150 marks. But okay. uh, after time to time, we get uh, stamina and of course, we are studying for that. So we get uh, more knowledge and it's after that, like 200, it's fine. Like 180, you are getting 180 out of 300, it's still fine. That's great. So, see, at any point of time during your preparation, have you felt that, uh, okay, I'm not able to going to do this this time? Did you have that feel? Uh, yes, for a few topics, yes. As it like, uh, see, why I'm asking this question is uh, generally students feel when they are coming into this competitive exam prep that uh, I a topper, they are going to consider you as a topper, you're going to consider, take you as a role model, right? So they feel that topper is always like they will do well. Uh, I cannot do well because I get depressed. Was there a moment in your preparation like uh, you ha you hated the entire preparation and you just want to close the book and go away? What, did you have those moments? Yes, there was a time, but uh, I was I I try to manage the time. It's like uh, I will take a break or like I will see some friend for a few hours, not the whole day. Of course, okay. two to three hours break is enough. Like every week, I will advise to take a break, like a half day break. But don't don't completely waste your whole day like still that's that's great that's great insight uh, dr vijay and uh, how did uh, you use pw you said you used pw in the second half of preparation of the four months uh, what are the things which you liked in pw and what are subjects which help and is there any teachers you want to say thank you to uh, of course your pathology was really nice thank you, thank you vijay. and it was really scoring subject and the surgery from uh, dr sandeep and ophthalmology from Dr. Suda and, and the pharmacology from Dr. Ankit was also nice. And uh, about uh, GT, GT was really, uh, really good. Thank you. It's thank really you. helped me in the last uh, one month. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you for your time, Vijay. I just uh, maybe a couple of uh, minutes, you take your time, a heartfelt message to your juniors, your friends who 
are going to sit for the december exam i think it's in just in four months time so what yes. do you want to tell honestly from a senior point of view like uh, leave uh, the interview if you're going to talk to them one on one as a senior see do this do that this is what is going to reach you success so tell me just a couple of minutes whatever you think uh people are saying like uh, this exam was uh, really tough and the hard and the part it was really like out of the syllabus uh there was a it, it was not like that the paper was not uh, that hard it's uh, really depends on the us like uh, your hard work your consistency your uh, practice on the uh, questions and the gts the whole things and the like daily daily 8 to 9 hours of study is enough and 1 to 2 hours of the mcq with explanation is enough for the exam and the gt is a must and the yeah that's it okay that was short and sweet so thank you thanks a lot for taking time dr vijay and uh, all the very best for your future internship and uh, need on next i don't know what you will be writing i'll leave it to the government to decide what you'll be writing and uh, all the very best for that and i hope that you will come out in flying colors there as well and uh, if there are any comments uh, from the students and uh, they will look up like i said they will look up for you as an inspiration or role model and i hope you'll be guiding them in future as well right thanks a lot dr vijay thank you thank you once again thank you doctor for your time thank, thank you, you.